Hey guys, just wanted to let you know before we started our vlog, uh, thank you for all the people that have been viewing us, the subscriptions, uh, and most off, all the comments that we've been getting. Uh, each comment that we get uh, really helps us improve our videos for the next time for you guys, uh, so keep them coming. We really appreciate it. We've also decided that for 2011 we're going to move a post from every day to every other day. The time needed for editing a video every single day I don't think I'll have uh, being in school this semester. So we apologize to anyone that might be upset by that. I hope you're not. But we'll still have good content. We still want to keep our videos under 10 minutes because we know that videos that are longer than that usually tend to drag on. So we just wanted to update you guys about all that. Uh, enjoy the vlog and thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. This is our life. Welcome to it. We're here at the laundromat uh, because we've yet to get a washer or dryer for our house. Uh, we've been there for two years. Uh, but this has just been working out so well for us we decided to go. Uh, but an interesting thing here, and you can see my wife in there, smiling face doing the laundry. Here, look at this, Thomas Moore, barred from this property. I don't know what you got to do to get barred from a laundromat or for the owner to have to get a professional sticker printed. I mean, that's reflective tape. That's not just word art uh, on your Windows PC. I mean, that's some pretty serious stuff. So if you see Thomas Moore hanging around this laundromat, uh, you better let him know that uh, someone's upset with him. So you might be wondering why we're at the laundromat at 1146 p.m. It's because all the washers go on half price. Down to a dollar a load. Which is good for Keeper. anyone. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. It's good for anyone on a budget. So we were able to fit like three weeks worth of clothes into one washer <laughs> that only cost us well she's in the way right now. Only cost us two fifty. That's uh that's two weeks worth of laundry for us in there. Dark clothes. The darks. Uh, the whites will fit in a small washer. Now the reason I like coming to this laundromat, Mrs. Pac-Man, old school version. Sasha says that I'm only allowed to have uh, two quarters to play, so I'm going to make the most of them and see how I do. Those magic hands. Speedy hands Alex, that's what everyone calls me. Right babe? Yeah. Raspberry. Yum. That was... Oh. 15,000. We're not messing around here. Final score. My first Very quarter. Very far from the high score. 16,000. So, I think I figured out uh, why Thomas Moore isn't allowed here at the University of Laundry. On the door of the restroom, it says here, In Jesus' name, you cannot use restroom unless you are a customer. Thanks and God bless all of my customers. They're pretty serious about this laundromat, so if you're looking to fool around, go to the one downtown. Waiting at the laundromat. Somebody's bored. And we got cable. And cold drinks. For a dollar, a can of soda. Look at this. This is one problem I have with corporate America. I mean, I enjoy capitalism as much as any other God-fearing American. But a dollar? A dollar? I don't know if you can hear me over the washer. My wife is standing beside. A dollar for a can. It used to be a dollar for a bottle. A friendly reminder from the FBI. Well, babe, do you want to explain what you're doing here? I'm sorting coupons by category, like paper products and meat and canned goods. And then I'll have to explain this on another vlog how I do couponing and sort it so when I go into the store, it's divided into category. So I'm using this time at the laundromat to get some work done. Because we all know that when we go shopping, we want to be in and out of there. Couponing saves us money, and binders with coupons in them save us time.
Efficiency equals a happy family. Right, Sash? Yep. You heard it here first. Don't forget it. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Sasha! I won! <laughs> Look at it go! Sasha, did you know how fast these things go? We've had lots of comments on the Christmas card thing. My little rant about them being personalized. I just want to clarify for everybody that it doesn't have to be personalized. I like it when they are, and I don't know, I think if you're going to spend 44 cents on a stamp that you should write something inside it. But if you don't, and you still send us a Christmas card, I'm not going to be upset if it's not personalized, and I'm still going to hang it up on the fridge, because that's where we put our Christmas cards, if it doesn't say anything more than love whoever. So for everyone that's watching this that maybe already sent an unpersonalized card in the mail, I apologize and I don't want to upset you. <laughs> we'll take all the Christmas cards you'll send us. Well, we're on our way to Walmart. Um, whenever Nick was remodeling, he decided to spice up the bathroom with a basket here. We can see it. Nice tie in the front. Well, <laughs> everyone knows I'm really cheap. And he spent $10 on this basket. <laughs> so we're taking it back. Um, and we're going to use the $10 for something else besides a basket. You, Christmas trees. If you want trees. me to be home before midnight, you better stop putting all this extra stuff Christmas in Christmas trees. Connor got a new toy. Got a Random bunch of hat. New toys. Oh, he thinks you're going to fix it. It's a stuffed <laughs> Christmas tree. Like a stuffed animal. We're going to see how long it lasts. My guess is 10 minutes. Start time for this mission is 3.35. The time is now 3.48 and... This is what happened to the Christmas tree. And still happening to the Christmas tree. That's why we have to buy sturdy toys. No fabric toys for our dog. That's all for the Redmond family. We're checking out.